precious souls. Welcome to a twin flame journey. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on twin flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Episode five, an unexpected meeting is available. Follow along as Aura tells the story of a twin flame journey. Other content is available in the description box below on the Twin Flame journey, stages and tips and so much more. Be sure to check that out in the description box below. It is utterly inevitable that your spiritual ascension occurs. And it starts with the spiritual Twin Flame and becomes a trickling effect towards the Matrix Twin Flame. It isn't the same experience, but it does happen because suddenly they find themselves no longer enjoying their lives and they start to wonder about their twin flame, what they are up to, what they are doing. They want to be close to them. They want to be around them. They want to know them better and develop a special relationship with them. So holding grudges against your twin flame doesn't help you reunite faster. It only keeps you further away from them. Rejecting them is a result of also rejecting yourself, a form of running, you could say. And as much as it would or should satisfy you egoistically, as much as you feel it would justify their response in rejecting the connection and holding back, it doesn't help, nor does it get them to quote unquote see anything. It is only a matter of how long you spend during your ascension realizing what you deserve, what your soul is calling you more towards, who you are in this lifetime. Don't get carried away with the idea of a codependency or being next to someone or the attachment of what it would be like to be in a 3D relationship with your twin flame. But start letting go and living soulfully. Start living for the sake of your soulful existence. Allow the energy that deserves your attention. Allow the pathways of opportunity to unfold. Allow your soulful existence to be. Don't hold on tightly to your twin flame as if forced, as if you want to control how they should be responding to the connection. You will never need to make anything happen. You will never need to control their perspective, what they should be doing or not doing. Letting go is becoming one of the greatest gifts you could ever give yourself when it comes to this journey. You are not bitter. You are not angry. You are not holding on to the last words said between you and your twin flame but you are simply holding your peace from the inside outside as if creating your soulful existence, as if attracting what, the who you are meant to be. So let your twin flame believe what they want to believe. Let them think what they want to think. Let them endure any experience. Let the divine do what it's meant to do and watch as your reunion unfolds. Watch as you won't ever have to chase, make, force, or attach yourself to anything but rather live in the moment each and every single day. So I hope that this episode has assisted many of you out there. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is A Twin Flame Journey.